Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Just down jetted. Don't often say that, dear. Down jetted it. That's because it had a sports exhaust. A original one's been put on there. You have to down jet it. You got a sports exhaust. You can up jet until it reaches its prime. I've had to go the other way. Now this accelerates. You accelerate slowly. A lot of speed bikes. You've got to get full throttle before you move. This now you open up. She pulls away. You open too much. She doesn't like it. Right. What's today's chat about? The variator. This is a variator. Guys, I've spoke about this so many times. Here's the rollers. They've got to be nice and clean with a clean rag. None of this oils and stuff in here. And they've got to roll. Square rollers don't roll. Makes sense. Rough rollers, dirty rollers, they don't roll. This is dirty. They don't roll. <laughs> nice rollers. The lighter, the more likely you're going to pull away really fast. The heavier... You're going to pull away slowly, but more top end. The reason being is that these rollers will sit in like that. And as you pull away with light rollers, they take a little while to slowly push out. And it opens the belt up. With heavy rollers, quickly. So this is what your variator does. Props, remember. My finger is the shaft of the engine. Okay, And this is where you start off. Every bike starts off this way. And as you accelerate, heavy rollers will do that really quickly. Light rollers... We'll slowly push them together, okay? You clutch the other side, it's big, and that's what gets smaller, that's why you get the little bit there. Why do I often say, prop, remember, why do I often say, chuck this away? Well, it's simple. If that's in there, guys, that is another mil, okay? Mil and a half, chuck the wash away, tighter. What does that do for you? Prop, belt, bit thicker, I know. Normally, when you start off the bike, oh, clutch fingers now, there's your belt, and it starts off right down there, okay? As you accelerate, this pushes this up, and it goes up, which means it's pulling on the clutch side faster, okay? And when you slow down again, the belt goes back to normal again, okay? So that's all this does. Push it together, comes back out again, okay? If you've got a washer there, and I'm only talking millward. That means that that's not going together all the way. Take the washer out, closer together. And that's why I say, get the washer, chuck it away. Because this means that the tighter they get, the more likely the belt is going to be right at the top, which is pulling the clutch there. Now, there are variations of this, guys. If you've got an old knackered piston, and you're asking it to pull more, it's not going to do it. You've got a fresh young piston in there, um, good oils, it's regularly serviced. This will really work really well for you. And the belt right out here means the clutch is going to be right tight, small, and you are going to get flying down the road 50 odd mile an hour. There are other restrictions, which I mentioned in the other video. If you haven't upjetted it, if you haven't got a good sports exhaust, you're not getting enough air in, and if it's restricted by bloody CDI. Yeah. You know, if it's restricted by the CDI, all this means you're going to pull away faster, but you're still not going to get any better speed out of it. But if it isn't restricted, it's a good old speed fight on many other bikes, Jaleras and Piaggios and so on, RGs. This is what I'm talking about. Now, on the other video I did, got the wash and chucked it away, and of course it moved this one mil that way, and then of course it was rattling, so you have to put it back out again, okay, on the old Bendix. So you have to look about where you are. Take pictures, take it apart, put it back, doesn't work, try it again. Have watched my videos, you might see. But that's what I'm on about with the variator when I say chuck the wash away. The closer they are together, the more the belt is pushed out, better gear. It's just another gear. Imagine a push bike and you have these small seven cogs and then they go out. That's the other side. See this side, the more out it is, the faster you are. It's like the original cycle gear one, the bigger gear you want. Anyway guys, there you go. I thought I'd explain why. And remember, clean rag, nice, round, smooth rollers. Not them rough ones I had in my other video, which I think I've chucked away. Yeah, I've chucked them away now. Um, and if they've got any shine and like mark flat spots on them, they're not going to work, guys. They're only £5 odd. Chuck them. What weight? Well, that's down to you. Um, if you want more pull away or you want top end. Very, very light, 25 in total, okay? They come in ones right up to 10 grams. Um, I tend to be happy. I used to put six and three. You don't need to combine them if you don't want to, but they must be evenly spread, okay? Don't ever get like seven grams, seven grams, five and five together. 
that's just going to throw it all out. They have to be evenly spread, so high, low, high, low, high, low, or six grams. You know what you got there? Um, six times six, 12, 36 grams. That's not bad. I tend to stick between 30 and 45 grams maximum. If you've got a really good pull away bike and go to 45 grams, you're going to get a lot out of it. You know, if it's healthy. Um, clean engine that really running well. If your engine's not running so well, try lighter. Um, you're not going to get much top end, but you will pull away. Guys, I babbled, I know. Check out the links around the outside. I've always wanted to explain why. Dutch A, chuck away the washer, I'll get asked questions. Check out links around there, you're going to see a variant one. It's on the Aerox, but it's easy to show on the Aerox, you don't have to have the cover on. On a speed fight, the old Bendix bug us off, and it's just not right. Um, very hard to show you on a bend. This one I can show you on here, because um, Paggio again pushes it deeper in. Alright, like and subscribe, thank you for watching guys.